Here we have Terry Jr. from Le Butcherette. First of all, tell me about your name, Jr. How's that come about? Uh, well, I started using it when I was 17. I got really into feminist yeah. literature. And uh, at school, I was, fr I was frustrated because I had just moved from Denver to, to Mexico. And so, gender bender for me was something that wouldn't just identify me as a woman or a man. It was just kind of like uh, I'm, I'm an entity of, of animal, not of sex. Yes. So, the, the, what led me to find that, even if it, even if it sounds pretentious, I don't care, was Betty Friedan and Simone de Beauvoir with the second sex and the feminine mystique reading really the books. And that's why I said, gender bender, take her sex and bend it, throw it out the window. <laughs> cool, and uh, in the uh, Le Butcherettes. Okay, so as Butcherettes, you know, the female, does that have anything to do with um, feminism? Um, so I'd say that you and the you did, At the beginning, because I was 17. Okay, I started yeah, you're young. Are you 24? Um, um, yeah, exactly. Oh. So uh, when I started the band, th those were the main concepts, but it started evolving into something, you know, don't know, don't know, limit yourself with one concept. This is the worst yeah. thing that you can do. It's like, you know, you're about to take suicide. Why do you want to live with one concept for the rest of your life? And um, so now, we're, you know, the universe, the newest album revolves around different, uh, different things, or skills, or, 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 or your own search for a different path of, of culture. So, yeah. And um, your dance moves. Okay, so watching. Um, I always thought that they had the most greatest dance moves. And then whenever we play that show, fun fest. And um, I just, and I see you and you're with Omar. And I'm like, those girls make the fucking dance moves too. Oh, and you know, you're playing Omar. I'm like, is there like a fucking club or something? Like, what? <laughs> like, tell me about your energy and like, where do you get your style from? Because your movement is quite amazing. It's, it's pretty simple. Every day, Around four o'clock in the afternoon, we all get together in this big salon and we start rehearsing our dance moves. You know, it's just about practice and coordination. I mean, you put your arms forward and you put them back, and you do that for half an hour. You know, go back and forth and back, back and forth and yeah. for half an hour. You know, just it's all in the arms. Yeah. But everyone has to do it. All of us have to do it at the same time. You know, so Leah would also do it. She'll do the, the arm coordination. Right now she's eating because she's tired of the arm. After, you know, she burned a lot of cabs. Yes. Yeah. Taxis. She burned a lot of taxis, not cars. She burns taxis. <laughs> her arms. So it's a, it's, you know, it's a matter of coordinating the dance moves. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, so with style of music you guys play, it's quite interesting. And I can only relate it to uh, a band from Montreal called Tinanunu. I've never heard of them, no. Oh, wait, 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 from... Montreal. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm confusing it with another band. And what's, I guess this came to mind just then, they actually went on tour with Yeah, Yeah, Yeah's. Oh! And you guys get compared, or you get compared to Karen O. That's blasphemy. So. <laughs> oh. I know, she is pretty amazing. She's amazing. So, uh, what other music do you listen to, and where do you get your inspiration with your music? Um, oh my gosh, there's so many. I really love, uh, I love the coat hangers. Awesome, uh, high five on that. Yeah. <laughs> Agent Ribbons. I love close up of you. Sorry, I ruined the moment, but that's cool, that was cool. Um, Agent Ribbons. Um, oh my god, I'm, I'm blanking out on a bunch of bands right now, but um, I guess the inspiration mostly comes from just living in it. Know? Yeah. Like you meet cool people. It doesn't like my mother, for example. You know, she's she's a singer, but and she's an actress, but she, you know, she she dedicated her life to us. That's a main inspiration. It's you know? a mother's job. Yeah. My father passed away. She was mother and father. So it's like that's that to me is what empowers me to do my best on and off stage as a you know to be a good person. Yeah. You know? Sometimes people forget to, to do that. Hey, you know, just be a good person. You know, sometimes it's great to just climb the mountain. Once you get to the top, yeah, that's not the, that's not the finish line. Just keep fucking climbing. Just keep on climbing. Yeah. yeah. And if there's nothing left to climb, then try to fly or, or meditate. Yeah. So you can reach illumination. Enlightenment. Wisdom, write that down. <laughs> <laughs>
I was like, no, yeah, I like it. <laughs> so, I guess um, when people are watching this, and I know that you have a lot of relationship with the guys from at the drive-in. So how did you guys meet? Um, long story short, I met Omar in Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, I was playing a, a, this bar, pretty, pretty, you know, like a little like indie bar. A lot of people go there called Efe Bolco, and the lights went out when we were playing. But I still kept, you know, going with my. I had a megaphone and I had a pig head, and, and the, the, the drummer she kept. You know, you don't need, you know, you can still hear the drums. You don't need electricity. So it was very uh, tribal. I don't know if that's even the, uh, the, the word I'm, I'm searching for. But yeah, he was there, and uh, he really liked what he saw. That the electricity wasn't a barrier for us, and um, he asked to produce a record. So that was really, that was really cool. Nice. It was really, it was motivating. It's because the power went out. Yeah, the power went out, and we still kept going. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you guys are from Mexico. How long uh, have you been living in Mexico? And you're. And you're from Colorado. Yeah, I'm from Denver, but at age 12, I moved to Guadalajara because of my father. Yeah. We said, why stay there? There's nothing here. We only had him. Plus, it snows. The, the weather was really cold. And we couldn't stand it. Depression, your morning. <laughs> so we said, let's fuck it. Let's go to the warm weather where we're actually from, where we have family. My grandparents live there. And, uh, so I, I consider Mexico my full blown home, full blown names. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Here we go. Terry Genderbender. Uh, ah, thank you so much. Well, thank you. This girl thank is you. fucking amazing. Thank you for your time. Thank you for coming here and everything. You know, I just got back from Australia and wow. I decided to awesome. check out uh, what's going on in Houston since I've been gone. So you're living here now? Yeah, I live here. Okay. And um, I looked on the internet and said, The Butcherettes. Holy shit. Now I had no idea who Annie Masks are. But you guys from Master Drive then. Amazing. And, but um, when I saw that you guys were playing, I was like, that's amazing. Oh, so I got so you. excited and uh, came out here and it's so cool much. to see it, see your show. Then thank you for making the time. People nowadays, it's hard to leave your house. So. This is, I was just telling my friend out there, this, this is probably one of the most amazing shows that I have seen in years. And, you know, I actually put forth energy into actually being up front row. Just Whoa. so I could watch your band. And, uh, oh, yeah, you. you guys are amazing. Oh, Good luck to everything. Thank you. Yeah. Right. So, gender bender. Here we go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ah. <laughs> so, like. Thank you. That's so well, sweet. Done. Here we have Harry Junior from <laughs> Le Butcherette. First of all, tell me about your name, Junior Bender. How's that come about? Uh, well, I started using him when I was 17 because I was really into literature. And uh, at school, I was, fr I was frustrated because I just moved from Denver to, to Mexico. And so, Gender Bender for me was something that wouldn't just identify me as a woman or a man. It was just kind of like a, I'm, I'm an entity, an animal. Not of sex. Yeah. So the, the, what led me to find that, even if it, even if it sounds pretentious, I don't care. Was Betty Friedan and Simone de Beauvoir yeah. with the second sex and the feminine mystique reading their books, and that's why I said gender bender, take her sex and bend it, throw it out the window. <laughs> cool. And uh, in the book, uh, the butcherettes. Okay. So as butcherettes, you know, female, does that have anything to do with? Uh, um, so I say that you and the did, at the beginning because okay. I was 17. Okay. I started yeah, the band. you're young. What are you, 24? Um, um, yeah, exactly. Oh. So when I started the band, th those were the main concepts, but it started evolving into something, you know, don't know, we don't know, pity yourself with one concept. This is the worst yeah. thing that you can do. It's like, you know, you're about to take suicide. Why, why do you want to live with one concept for the rest of your life? Um, so now you know, the, 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 the newest album revolves around different, uh, different things, skills, or, 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 or your own search for a different path of culture. So, yeah. And um, your dance moves. So, okay, so watching. Um, I always thought that they had fucking the most greatest dance moves, and then whenever we play that show. Fun fest, and um, I just and I see you and you're with Omar. And I'm like, this girl's got the fucking dance moves too. Oh, and you know you're playing Omar. I'm like, is there like a fucking club or something? Like, <laughs> what? 
like, tell me about your energy and like where you get your style from. Because um, your movement is quite amazing. It's, it's pretty simple. Every day around four o'clock in the afternoon, we all get together in this big salon and we start rehearsing your dance moves. You know, it's just about practice and coordination. I mean, you put your arms forward and you put them back, and you do that for half an hour. You know, go back and forth and back, back and forth. Yeah. For half an hour, you know, just it's all in the arms. Yeah. But everyone has to do it. All of us have to do it at the same time. You know, so Leah would also do it. You know, she'll do the, the arm coordination. Right now she's eating because she's tired of the arm. You know, she burned a lot of calves. Yes. Yeah. Taxis. She burned a lot of taxis, not carbs. She burns taxis. <laughs> her arms. So it's a, it's, you know, it's a matter of coordinating the dance moves. Gotcha, gotcha. And, um, so with style of music you guys play, it's quite interesting. And I can only relate it to uh, a band from Montreal called Tin and Anu. I've never heard of them, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait from Montreal. No, 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 no. I know, I, I'm confusing it with another band. And what's, I guess this came to mind just then, they actually went on tour with Yeah, Yeah, Yeah's. Wow. And you guys get compared, or you get compared to Karen No. That's blasphemy. So, <laughs> I know, she is pretty amazing. She's amazing. So, uh, what other music do you listen to and where do you get your inspiration with your music? Um, oh my gosh, there's so many. Uh, I, I really love, uh, I love the Coat Hangers. Awesome, uh, I five on that. Yeah. <laughs> Agent Ribbons. I <laughs> close up of you. Sorry, I ruined the moment, but that's cool, that's cool. Um, Agent Ribbons. Um, oh my god, I'm, I'm blanking out on a bunch of bands right now, but um, I guess the inspiration mostly comes from just living it, you know? Yeah. Like you meet cool people, it doesn't, like my mother for example, you know, she, she's a singer, but, and she's an actress, but she, you know, she, she dedicated her life to us. That's a main inspiration. It's you know? mother's job. Yeah, my father passed away, she was mother and father, so it's like, that's, that to me is what empowers me to do my best on and off stage as a, you know, to be a good person. Yeah. No. Sometimes people forget to, to do that. Hey, you know, just be a good person. You know, sometimes it's great to just climb the mountain. Once you get to the yeah. top. Yeah. That's not the, that's not the finish line. Just keep fucking climbing. Just keep on climbing. Yeah. And if there's nothing left to climb, then try to fly or, or meditate. Yeah. So you can reach illumination. Wisdom, write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I like no, I like you. <laughs> so, I guess um, when people are watching this, and I know that you have a lot of relationship with the guys from at the drive-in. So, how did you guys meet? Um, long story short, I met Omar in Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, I was playing a, a this bar. Pretty, pretty, you know, like a little like indie bar. A lot of people go there called Efe Bolco, and the lights went out when we were playing. But I still kept, you know, going with my. I had a megaphone and I had a pig head, and, and the, the, the drummer she kept. You know, you don't need, you know, you can still hear the drums. You don't need electricity. And so it was very uh, tribal. I don't know if that's even the, uh, the, the word I'm, I'm searching for. But yeah, he was there, and uh, he really liked what he saw. That the electricity wasn't a barrier for us, and. Um, he has to produce a record. So that was really, that was really cool. Nice. Really, it's been motivating. It's because the power went out. Yeah, the power went out and we still kept going. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you guys are from Mexico. How long uh, have you been living in Mexico? And you're, yeah. and you're from Colorado. Yeah, I'm from Denver, but at age 12, I moved to Guadalajara because of my father. Yeah. We said, why stay there? There's nothing here. We only had him. Plus it snows, the, the weather is really cold, and we couldn't stand it. Depression, you're mourning. <laughs> so we said, let's fuck it, let's go to the warm weather where we're actually from, where we have family, my grandparents live there. And, uh, so uh, I, I consider my, my people my full-blown home, full-blown names. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Here we go. Terry Genderbender. Uh, ah, thank you so much. Thank you. This girl thank is you. fucking amazing. Thank you for your time, thank you for coming here and everything.